lemons. Fresh squeezed lemonade for sale, only 25 cents. Lemons. Lemonade, come get your lemonade. Just a pinch of pennies for this perfect concoction could be yours. Lemons. Lemonade. Ew, you got lemons on my car. I'm going to take their money. Ginger Pill, you just mug children. I took their money. Hi, I'm Ginger Pill. Welcome to G Poppy's Poppy Shoppy. We're going to be talking about pops, soda pop, whatever you want to call it. How can I help you? You do have money, right? Ooh, that's too bad, because it's 50 cents a pop, cheap. Get out my sight. Eh, yeah, calm down. It was only a soft drink, after all. <laughs> Why is it called a soft drink? I mean, an aluminum can scaring a bunch of liquid don't exactly scream soft to me. Well, it's because any drink containing less than 0.5% alcohol is referred to as a soft drink. Anymore, and you got a wobbly pop on your hands. You know, like beer and wine and grandpa's old cough medicine. Dude, we're getting really off track. Let's talk about pop now. Did you know that I was originally green? Ew. Fake news. A lot of people seem to think that Coca-Cola used to be green, but I'm pretty sure that rumor just came from the green bottles that Coke was originally packaged in. The original recipe always called for caramel coloring, and this is because back in 1886, when Coke was invented, they added brown color to help hide impurities between the small batches. Well, it's been about a week. I don't think I need this Band-Aid anymore. Uh, can, can I get some help over here? Can I call in? Yeah, I got fell in. Man, second time this week. Just toss some of this caramelized sugar in there. No one will know. Is that a Band-Aid? Yeah, sounds kind of gross, but you gotta remember this is back in a time where the FDA didn't exist and everyone was pro-cocaine. At the same time, pops actually existed as medicinal beverages. Mmm, that's the taste of hell. Let's go shopping at the old 1850 pop shop, which was just a pharmacy. Ooh, Pepsi, 1893. This was originally called Brad's Drink, and it was marketed as a digestive aid. I mean, I've watched videos of cola ripping rust off metal, so I'm pretty sure it could help break down food in your stomach. But who's this Brad guy? If I tried to sell you something called Ginger Pale's Drink, would you be a little skeptical? But probably. If it can break down rust, it can break down food. Drink Pepsi. Ooh, 7-Up, 1929. This contained lithium citrate, which was a mood-enhancing drug, which made this drink pretty popular during its release right around the Great Depression and the stock market crash of 1929. It was also marketed as slenderizing, and, and that's a little weird because lithium and soda pop are both known for weight gain, so I, 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 I don't know about that. Gaining too much weight drinking? Are you sad? Huh. Us too. Drink 7-Up. And we can't forget about Coke, 1886. It was invented as a cure for morphine addictions. It gained its popularity because it included coca leaf extract, which did contain a small amount of cocaine. I mean, yeah, sure, just replace your old addiction with a new and potentially worse one. Kick the addiction by getting a new and potentially worse one. Drink Coca-Cola. Root beer, 1876. This was one of the many sodas that contained a bunch of alcohol. Even though the guy who originally marketed root beer was a teetotaler. That's a, that's a guy who doesn't drink. He swore off drinking. Now, he did this so that he could call it beer, so it would appeal more to the local coal miners, but I gotta think that if he swore off alcohol, does that mean he didn't try his own drink before selling it? Like beer? This says beer. Drink root beer. Now with alcohol. Mountain Dew, 1940. It, uh, Mountain Dew just means moonshine. Uh, it was made as a syrup to mix with moonshine. I, I, I hate Mountain Dew. We suck. Don't drink us. Mountain Dew is trash. Ginger Pale just said Mountain Dew is gross. Gamers, rise! The store will now be closing due to the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906 and the Prohibition of 1920. <laughs> Neat. Stop! We're the Pop Cops! Wait, what? Jerry, I thought we were the Fizz Buzz. He's getting away! Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. Jerry, don't, don't touch those. We, we got a team for that. Now that we have the FDA, there's a little bit more regulation and uh, pops a bit better to put into your body. But even with that said, I think I drink a little too much. These things are like 100 calories each, four times a day, times 30. That's 12,000 calories a month in pop. Disgusting. That's, that's so mean. What the heck? Whoops, that's the window. My bad. Disgusting. But if I switch over to diet pop, problem solved. Zero calories, baby. But diet soda contains aspartame, and that gives you the... Uh, just do everything in moderation, and you won't die, probably. <laughs> we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. I, if you liked it, uh, thanks. There's a couple links in the description for some...